we don't have stories about clients who had to close their doors. We have a lot of stories about clients that thought they were going to have to close their doors and how all these various programs kept them in business. And, you know, it makes me proud to know that I advise them through that. The doctors that are in the hospital helping clients, uh, you know, medically, we're helping clients economically. People really trusted us and told us, and they really appreciated us. I think is the highest honor um, because we're we're dealing with people who are going through maybe the hardest time they've ever gone through. Over the past year as a CPA, it's been, you know, those conversations you have that people call you an answered prayer or they say to you, if it weren't for you, dot, dot, dot. And those are the moments that when you really realize that you've impacted not just your clients positively, but the fact that those businesses can stay in business and those employees can stay employed. I think when we look back in the history books of, you know, 2020, 2021, I think the CPA profession will be looked on as um, real leaders of the field. I think I will feel really proud that I told my clients about help that they did not know about and that I held their hand and got that help with them. I think that we we really have a lot to look back on and hold our head up high uh, and, and be really proud of the, the work that we've done. Our connectivity as a profession to approximately 6 million small businesses that have 500 or fewer employees was absolutely essential to those small business survivability. It was a defining moment in, in, in the history of the United States and the history of the world. And these businesses really needed support. And when the bell was rung, the firm stood up and they delivered.